This is a toy gyroscope. And really what it is, is just a wheel that's restricted to one axis about which it rotates about. And what you can do is you stick a string in this little hole and wrap it around the spindle and then yank. And then it'll spin really well. And what's called angular momentum keeps it up. It'll keep it from tipping over and it'll kind of process around like this, but you can do some neat tricks with it, balancing it on a rope and such. I can't demonstrate. I'm sorry, my experimentation has not been kind to this, and I broke some of the spokes on it. But anyhow, I want to show you a variation of this that you can make at home. Here's another thoroughly enjoyable spinning toy. These are two ball bearings that are, th one has a threaded male end and the other has a threaded female end, so they screw together. They're capable of extremely high speed, and if you add compressed air, they're capable of really, really extremely high speed. One final spinning distraction and then we'll be on our way. This one requires one of these disc magnets and you can get one of those from the back of a speaker. The art is removing the magnet itself from the rest of it. Don't use a blowtorch because if you get the magnet too hot it will render the magnet ineffectual. But what you can do is use a heat gun and the adhesive should loosen up a little bit and you should be able to wiggle it off. You might want to try some WD-40 or another light solvent. Anyhow, once you have it, get yourself a pinball. And I apologize, I broke this one. So it will be slightly off balance. But this is an incredibly efficient top. Part of the reason for its efficiency comes from the fact that a sphere touches a plane at only one point, so there's very little friction involved. But also, the low center of mass helps it to really function well as a top. And the glass also helps to reduce friction. Okay, let's get on with it. This is my old VCR. And yes, I do still watch VHS tapes periodically. I have kind of an affection for older technologies. Anyhow, I only invested a little bit of time into fixing it and I failed, so I was able to replace it with a newer model that I got from a thrift store for only $5. Anyhow, somewhere around here, you will find the VCR's head. Don't ask me how it works, but this is what it looks like. So what we're looking at here is a very precision made bearing assembly and it has a post that goes through the center of the bearings that functions as an axle. It is stationary, the axle is stationary on this side and so the bearings are free to spin about it. Now this one's already been stripped down and I cleaned away all the bells and whistles so you'll have to take off clips like this and there will be a ribbon, a cable that attaches to it as well. It'll probably be like this, and you'll have to use a razor knife to cut that away. But the rest of it can all be disassembled with using only Phillips, Phillips screws, and there will be this thing too, which will be on the post here, and it requires a teeny tiny little Allen wrench to take this out and then it should be free to pop off. There shouldn't be any adhesives or anything like that holding it together. Anyhow, let's take a look. Now if you notice these parts here, those are what we're going to aim at with the air compressor because it gives us a surface for air resistance to bite on and enable this thing to spin.
Well, it's a lot of fun to play with, but it's also pretty intimidating. The, it's, I don't know if the camera will really transfer just how high speed this thing is. So it's probably advisable to wear safety glasses. Now I have a physics question for you. Do you think this becomes hot or cold as I use it? I'll put the answer in the description. This should at least be entertaining. After years of trial and error, I have discovered the best way to get a really good pull on a, on a toy gyroscope. Get this bricklayer's twine, and you want to make two full wraps around the axle. On the end of the bricklayer's twine, you want to melt it so that it doesn't fray, so that it, there's a hard needle-like um, end to it that you can just stick through the hole. You want to wrap it really nice and neatly, two passes, and so that on the end of your second pass, it ends perfectly at the knot. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's done for. Oh.